What is good everybody, welcome back to another Money and Toys video. Today we are back with a brand new AEW Unmatched 2-in-1 Walmart exclusive review on the AEW Unmatched Collection Walmart exclusive MJF and Wardlow figures. Now it's very interesting because these are actually number 49 and 50 and they're probably on your shelves at the exact same time. You know, I, I stumbled into my Walmart and this is actually a late review. I meant to get this review up earlier, but I found two really minty versions of these figures. Didn't really want to crack those open. You know, when you find those minty versions, you kind of want to keep them so i have my men on car versions but i can finally unbox these guys i'm pretty excited i know they're pretty much repaints but they're good repaints i'm, I'm actually intrigued with these we're gonna find out what they're all about of course but one thing that's interesting about the mjf figure is that he actually has gold foil mixed with the silver so we've never seen that before i don't think and the last time we saw two walmart exclusives it was what cm punk and adam hangman page so now we're back with mjf and wardlow and one thing that's very interesting actually you guys remember when wardlow squashed mjf the other day he posted on Instagram and I commented on it and left a comment and he actually liked my comment talking about how he needed to be a bigger deal and that that's his championship. You guys know I love Wardlow so that was pretty cool. Nonetheless we're gonna crack these guys out you know they got the standard packaging nice looking Wardlow right here. Silver foil they also have the Walmart stickers up there which is pretty cool. Uh, like I said I do have my men on car version so I am gonna unbox these guys. We got gold foil down here number 49 and 50. AEW logo standard AEW packaging that we've pretty much come to know now but nonetheless man let's crack these guys out of their packaging find out what they're about put them on the rotating base and find out what MJF and Wardlow their Walmart exclusives are truly about so here's MJF and Wardlow out of the packaging, man. Really enjoying these figures. Again, they are repaints, but I think we get a lot of value out of these in the repaints. I think they're better than some of their predecessors, which we'll get into. And I think that if you guys have skipped over some MJFs, you've skipped over some Wardlows, these are going to be the ones that you want to choose. I think that, you know, you got some good stuff going on here. But let's dive into the details, man. Let's dive into MJF's accessories and MJF, and then we'll look at my boy Wardlow and his accessories. So getting into MJF's accessories, man, I mean, what do you, what do you want, Brad? It's the same thing that we've seen multiple times you get the scarf here which is always nice I, I imagine when we get like a supreme mjf i imagine it'll probably be with a bendy wire in here so you can at least like pose it i don't know that's just a thing but i, I do like this i appreciate it that it is cloth better than rubber every day of the week but we've seen this quite a few times now what would an aew action figure be without the trusty aew microphone especially an mjf right you know uh, one of the best promos you'll find in modern history and uh this this microphone goes well with it we'll go in the, the the never-ending AEW microphone collection. And then you do have the ring hand that we've seen quite a few times here. The pinky ring there to uh, bust guys over the head with. And then you have an interchangeable mic holding or weapon wielding style hand. And then his off hand is a mic holding hand as well. So yeah, that is what you get with the MJF Walmart figure. So getting into the MJF figure, man, this head sculpt's not the best. Uh, I still think his Series 2 figure had the best head sculpt. The rest of them are just kind of derpy looking. I don't know. I just don't think they capture MJF. They have not captured a good MJF since Series 2 in my personal opinion, but you do have the head sculpt there. Like, it has some likeness. I just don't think it nails it. And the hair's like a bit orange and too light right here, but same standard stuff. You got the tattoo. You got the lion tattoo over here. White wrist tape. Bright green or voltish greenish looking tights here with the lion logos. Pretty cool gear to go with here. At least it's a bright gear similar to his chase figure from Series 2 and his orange tights from Series 2. And the rest of them are pretty much black gears outside of his other chases and shop exclusives, but I like these trunks. So that works for me. And then you have black knee pads, black boots with the MJFs in white here. And like I said, somebody, I think it was my boy Cody, did white knee pads and white boots. And it looked really, really clean. But as far as MJF figures, I mean, it's not going to it's not gonna change the world. But I think it's a, I mean, it's a pretty solid figure. I don't think it's as good as his Unmatched Series 4. I don't think I like the white and purple better. But this is still a cool gear and everything like that. But let's take a look at this MJF up next to the rest of our MJF figure collections. So for your MJF figure comparisons, you do have the new Walmart exclusive in the middle then you have the uh, sort of a custom like suited Mattel Elite MJF the MJF Unrivaled Series 2 the Unrivaled Series 6 the Unmatched Series 2 the Unmatched Series 4 and the shop AEW exclusive which does have like blue trunks in here which is actually a pretty cool figure uh, honestly I didn't want to take the uh, the shirt and stuff off because I feel like he's gonna stain but he may stain anyway I may just get like a different torso or something and I, I, don't, I don't know what I'll do with that but I do want to show the trunks off so I don't, I don't know we'll see what comes of that but it is cool to 
the cities up next to each other. Honestly, all of them kind of have, like, all of them kind of have different skin tones because this one was the first, you know, the first factory, and I thought this one was pretty damn good. I thought the Series 2 MJF was super good, and then they changed the skin tone in factories and stuff, and then the uh, the rest of them are kind of this, like, grayish, weird skin tone, but then the Unmatched Series 4 is this skin tone, which looks good, and I think it's like an unmatched thing. I, I don't know, but this is also technically an unmatched figure, so I don't know what the hell's going on. We know how AEW and Jazzwares and stuff works, man. They're kind of all over the place, but it is cool to see all these MJFs up next to each other. Again, we are missing the Unmatched Series 2 Chase. I don't have that one at all, but I do have the Unrivaled Series 2 Chase, but it is mint on card. It's in the pink tights. I'd like to have that one loose one day as well. And then getting into Wardlow's accessories, just like we saw with his Unmatched Series 2 and his Unrivaled 10. Pretty much the same exact stuff here. You do get the, like, pissed off resting face, which I think looks a lot like Wardlow, but it is the exact same head sculpts we saw on his last two figures. And then you also have the screaming expression, which is also really good. So they both look like Wardlow. I like the hair sculpt and everything like that. His Unrivaled 13 figure that's coming soon also has these exact same head sculpts, except I think the hair's longer and it's more grown out. So, you know, uh, yeah. I mean, what do you say, Brad? What do you say? We get another Wardlow in here. I love Wardlow, but it's the exact same head sculpts. And then outside of that, you get fisted hands, the right taped hand, and then you have the bare hand on the left. So that's cool. Fisted hands. And then his other hands are mic holding or grappling style hands. Right hand has the white tape and the left has nothing. And it's good that it's at least consistent. You know, it's not just, you know, all over the place like we saw with Ray Phoenix figures before. So getting into my man Wardlow here, man. Starting out with the head sculpt. I enjoy the figure. You know, it's a good head sculpt. We've seen it multiple times, multiple occasions. It's pretty much been the same since Unmatched Series number 2. We're all the way up to Unmatched Series 7 now. And Unrivaled 13. And we're still getting the same exact head sculpts for Wardlow. But you know what, man? Uh, at least I like Wardlow, so I, you know, the more Wardlow, the better, but same torso and stuff. He does have this really cool purple singlet with white and details here. You got, like, these cool pattern going on here. Really cool stuff. You got the white going down the side. You get Wardlow down the back there. A oh, War Dog. I'm sorry. It says War Dog. I thought it said Wardlow, but it's got the pattern on there, and then it's got the white stripes. Then you have the white knee tape with the purple and white knee pads with the white boots, and, I mean, it, guys, it, this is a repaint. It's a repaint, just like MJF is a repaint. Jax used to do the same thing. They repaint the same figures over and over, do store exclusives and stuff like that. They gotta get the reuse out of it. I totally understand it, but out of the three Wardlows that we have seen thus far, and we do have more on the way, you have the Series 2 Unmatched over here, you have the new Walmart exclusive in the middle, and then you do have the Unrivaled 10 over here. All of them come with the same screaming head sculpts. They're all the same exact figure, just repainted. I love all three because I love Wardlow, but if I had to rank them, I'd probably say 1, 2, 3. But I love the all-white gear because I do love that, so I don't know. I may get another one of these and, like, acetone off all of the purple and then make my own Wardlow gear, because this is like a pinnacle gear, which is like, I feel like it was just like a cup of coffee, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes, but I think I do like this one better than the rest, but I don't know. Something about it just doesn't feel as, like, uh, nice in hand as the rest of them, but I could just be tripping. That may be, a, I don't know what's going on there, but I love Wardlow. I like these figures. Uh, yeah, it's all good stuff. I'd like to see a singlet, like, singletless Wardlow. You know what I'm saying? Like, pull the straps down style Wardlow, but I'm sure that's coming down the line. We'll see, but yeah, Wardlow. But I think that pretty much wraps up our 2-in-1 Walmart exclusive AEW action figure review, man. I enjoy both these figures. I think that, you know, if you've missed out on an MJF or a Wardlow, this is, these are perfectly grabbable, you know what I mean? I do like... I don't feel like this Wardlow really feels as good in hand as the Unrivaled 10. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that is. I'm not sure if it's, uh... I don't know. I don't know what the deal is there, but I love Wardlow. I like this gear. I think that it's a solid figure overall. And the MJF has really cool gear. I saw somebody do a white knee pad and white boot fix-up that really, like, brings it over the top, kind of like a chef's kiss. It makes it look really, really good, but if you're looking for an MJF that's not in black tights, like, this is the one to get, and we have so many MJFs, it's kind of ridiculous, but we're going to continue to get him. You know, he's a fantastic, he's a young talent, he's a world champion, you know, but that's Wardlow's title, damn it. That is Wardlow's title, and you will give it up, damn it. Yeah, yeah, by God. Wardlow's coming for you, Brad. But nonetheless, that is going to wrap up this review. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Let me know your thoughts on these down in the comments section below. Also, huge shout out to our patron army over there, supporters of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those guys. If you guys are interested in becoming Patreon members, check the links in the description below. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Leave me your thoughts on these figures down below. I think if you already have a Wardlow and MJF, you could probably skip over these. But if you are missing these guys, I'd go grab them, you know? I think it's the most colorful MJF you can get that's in the main market. And it's probably the most colorful Wardlow you can get right now in the main market. But I still like the Pinnacle. Even though it is, you know, it is Pinnacle. So this is a good singles Wardlow right here. We had our... 
MJF's bodyguard Wardlow, we had our Pinnacle Wardlow, and now we have kind of our singles Wardlow, so there you go, but I'm getting out of here, man. Have a blessed one. I'll see you guys next time. You'll never be